The LFH Juvenile Handicap Hurdle is next. Uh, this is obviously four year olds. And it's a 0 to 110. The top one is Bold Hollander for Martin Leadham. Raucous Mania for B. Fotheringham. Blizzard Kilroy, Dan Hughes, Nigella Lawson, Paul Rose, Dixie's Toon. B. Fotheringham, Wait and See, Craig Beckwith, Thunder Queen, James Shea, Naked Twister, Craig Beckwith, Classy David Hooley, Terrible King, Thomas Rogers, Bonfire Schwill, Dan Hughes, The Big Yin, Alex Cherry, Zone Zero, or Graham Clutterbuck, and Elina Avery for Alex Cherry. So 14 then in this one, called in and away. They ran stopped. And raking their way towards the first half, what we guess should be eight flights, and indeed it is. Uh, the line of Avery on the inside will lead over it. They get safely over the first. And now Bonfire Schwill has taken it. So Bonfire Schwill's in the lead then from Elina Avery second. The Big Yin is back in third. And then Wait and See. And uh, Zone Zero. One coming quite wide on the track there is the one in the purple jacket. That's classy. And they're making their way towards the second flight then now with Elina Avery and Bonfire Schwill disputing the lead. And they're a good five or six lengths clear of Zone Zero who is third and Wait and See is fourth Big Yin on the rail is fifth and the first is Pink Jacketed Pair is Dixie Toon as they get over flight number two and towards the back the only grey in the field this time is Terrible King and he's just about the back marker past the winning post then complete circuit to go and Elina Avery is in the lead by about a head as they get to flight three mostly over that one as well with the liner Avery in front, Bonfire Schwill second, gap off five lengths then to Zone Zero in third. Then the big yin and wait and see, Thunder Queen in the green is next, and then the pink jacketed Dixie's Toon, the white sleeves, and the blue jacket towards the outside of Naked Twister, and that one's inside is the second pink jacketed horse, Raucous Mania, and also in the green, Nigella Lawson, the purple jacket of Classy Wide on the track, as they get over that one, and then the back three are the grey, Terrible King, Bold Highlander in the purple and white stripes, and the second of the blue jacketed horse is Blizzard Kilroy, who is now also out of shot. But Elina Avery is in the lead then by about a length, to Bonfire Schwill second, and Zone Zero third. Cap then to the Big Yin and Wait and See race together. As they're making their way to the fifth, and over the fifth they go. Still standing and all hurdling well. They've just got three more flights to take them down. Six and a half furlongs to race in a liner Avery. The jockey said, Go on that one. Let's put a bit more pace to this race. Bonfire Schwill tries to respond in second. Zone Zero looks to be going well in third. Gap back to the big yin in fourth. These four are quite a, oh, a couple of lengths clear as they get over the third last. Uh, two of these from the back are going to have to start making their moves soon or they're going to let these leaders get a little bit too far clear. And in liner Avery is still two lengths up on Bonfire Schwill in second. Zone Zero is third. The big yin now making a move in fourth, trying to run on our wait and see and Thunder Queen. Also, Nigella Lawson is trying to get into it. I think we might be able to forget the rest. But there's just two more flights to take. And in liner Avery is in the lead. Now zone zero comes through to throw down a challenge. Over the second last they go. Elina Avery still leads by two. Zone Zero looks the big danger. The big Yin's running on now. Bonfire Schwill looks like it might be beaten. Terrible King is the one who's coming on nicely from the back of the grey. But it's Elina Avery and Zone Zero then coming down towards the final couple of furlongs and the final flight. And Elina Avery now being headed by Zone Zero. Zone Zero takes it up. The big Yin running on in third. Coming down towards his final flight now then. And Zone Zero looking like he might only have to jump it but the big Yin is closing. It's Zone Zone Zero coming down towards this final flight then skips over it nicely the big yin jumps in really well and he's attacking the finish but racing up towards the line the post is going to come soon enough for Zone Zero and Zone Zero takes it with Bonfire Schwill running on and the big yin and the line of Avery and then Terrible King and Wait and See and all the way back to Walkers Mania quite a few of those towards the back never got into the race at all as they allowed the front three or four to get too far clear and Zone Zero takes it. The Big Yin held on for second. So let's have a look at the full list then. Zone Zero of a Graham Clutch book, the winner. The Big Yin, Alex Cherry, second. Bonfire Schwill, Dan Hughes, third. Elina Avery for Alex Cherry was fourth. And Terrible King for Thomas Rogers was fifth.